Okay, we got a game that we got to play here right okay. now. So I've been brushing up on my, my weather on. skills. Okay, Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles will quiz us on whether we think one city has received more snow than another. Oh, okay. How's this going to go? Yeah, so what do you got, Lynette? there it is. Okay, so Bring you can see on. the graphics right, behind ready. me. Okay, so we're looking at Kansas City, Missouri or Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> Which one is snowier? So I feel like these are all trick questions, but one is going to be the obvious, right? right? Okay. Well, we've gotten like zero. Yeah, I'm I going mean, with Kansas City. Okay, so, and it's the one that got more, right? That's what we're asking? Uh-huh, who is Okay, snowier? yeah, I got to go with Kansas City because we've had so little. Here we go. What? But, exactly, hey. but we're supposed to have more than Kansas City. Uh -huh. So we just have not had that, okay? okay? So just take that in consideration. You guys get one more one more crack at it. We're okay. doing good. Yeah, so far. Here we go. <laughs> okay, what else you got? Here we go. Charleston, Charleston. versus New York. Aren't they in the mountains? I don't let it fool you. In West Virginia? All right, I'll go with New York. I'll go with Charleston, West Virginia. I'm disagreeing with Ashley. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I do it. This I is do. a Ashley good. Was we do. should do I this do. every I day. She was gonna trick me and then I try know, to trick I me again. And she was gonna do it. How, how, it. how did I they get? It. Snow? They're not that far away from us, New York. They got some snow. Yeah, we didn't get did. any. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So it, I know it's funny, like just the track of the system. Yeah. But the thing is, is that Charleston always is more than New York, Ashley. So it's not just like this type of year. Yeah, well, we're yeah, always exactly. more than Kansas City too, but not this time. <laughs> exactly. So that's just something that I wanted to do. Oh, because man. I now I like this game. Yeah. Let's, let's I do this do, every day. I want to do it time. more. That's why I have to do it so I can stump Christian. I don't know who Christian is. Next but time. Anyway. All right. So, yeah. So that's what we're working with there. Let's take a look at what's going on for here. Any type of snow? No. So we're still in that pattern, that holding pattern, where we're not getting any type of snow. Reason being, temperatures have just been too warm. I'm going to show you that in a matter of moments. Uh, the Satellite and radar nice and dry, but we do have those clouds around this morning. And as we go into the afternoon, maybe a few peaks of sunshine. So you'll need pretty much everything as you head out the door this morning. So don't forget the rain gear because we will have that rain a little later today. Also the warm coat and again, possibly the sunglasses as well. You can see the rain back off towards the south there. That's going to be our weather a little later, but we're not going to have a whole lot of rain in here. Just a few spotty showers as we head more towards the afternoon evening and the further to the north. Once again, there's that snow that you're dealing with as we look back off towards the west. There's the cold front. This is the thing that's going to work in our direction, and that's what's going to trigger more of the rain as we head through the overnight hours. But in the meantime, oh yeah, we're working with temperatures that are on the chilly side. These temperatures above average. We're at 36 degrees right now in Lutherville, uh, 35 in Hamden this morning, 36 at the Inner Harbor. Dundalk's coming in at 39 degrees, so close to 40 degrees. With that said, it's still chilly out there. So kids headed to the bus stop this morning. Make sure you do have the coat so you can stay warm. The future cast not picking up on a whole lot. Again, we will see a few breaks in the clouds as we go throughout the day, and then we start to see that rain returning again, more spotty in nature, but there's the cold front, and that's will bring in a little bit more rain as we head through the overnight into tomorrow morning. In, out, we'll start to get that gradual clearing out there, and with that gradual clearing, oh yeah, we will start to have more sunshine coming in here as we head into your Wednesday and also your Thursday, and then temperatures are going to fall, and then timbers will go right back up as we head into the weekend. So I actually think this is a tremendous forecast cast as we get a little bit of everything in there except for the snow. We will be breezy as we work our way into Wednesday as well after a temperature coming in at 49. So you can see that cold front trying to work its way in as we head into your Wednesday. 55 today, 49 on Wednesday, and then we really feel the effects of the front on your Thursday and Friday. But look at all the sunshine that we'll receive as we head into Thursday and Friday. By your Saturday and Sunday, guys, Ashley, Christian, Lauren, are you looking at the seven day I'm forecast? Looking. Look at the 50s on your Saturday and Sunday. I don't even know which day is the better day. And then as we head into Monday, I have to add in a few showers, but make sure you get out there and enjoy it because we will start to see some big changes in the forecast.